The new Space Marines are finally here. Spiky bits. Welcome back, Hobby Maniacs. Rob Bear with you again today, checking out the brand new Intercessor Squad. Now, these are the new multi part versions of what we saw in the Dark Imperium box for the starter, and I suppose the first strike, and I suppose the. What is what else was it? Uh, no, no fear box as well. So there is a lot of intercessors out there, and now we finally have the super duper multi part, awesomely posed miniatures coming out. Now these guys are fantastic looking. They have tons of options uh, to go by in this box here that we're about to see. Now the uh, the box goes for sixty dollars US here. Uh, come, like I said, comes with a ton, a ton of different options. GW site says there's 36 heads in here. I only counted 24. Maybe, <laughs> maybe we can figure that one out together. There's a whole bunch of different options in here from combat knives uh, to the little wrist communicator to uh, reloading and also pointing as well. You can also switch between the auto bolt rifle and the stalker bolt rifle using this little middle piece right here like we saw with the Primaris Captain that came out here recently uh, in the single clam pack form. And there's a there's the pointy pointy guy right there. So this is a pretty cool box set. Like I said, it goes for about sixty dollars U.S. But you definitely don't get any shortage of options on this bad boy right here. So when you open it up, of course you're gonna get uh, the brand new instruction manual. You're gonna get four sets of sprues. They're actually two of the same sprue right there. But before we jump to that, I think we should check out the instruction manual first. Let's zoom in here a little bit, make sure we're squared up with it right there. So this thing will basically show you, now they are a little bit um, more work to put together than perhaps uh, your normal tactical Marines because you got left and right legs. And then you've got the greaves that we saw with so many of the other character models out there, including Gilliman, but that's how they go together. They all go together a certain way right there. And then flipping it to the back, you've got all sorts of different options here, depending on if you wanna just go with the rifle, you wanna go with the bolt pistol, <laughs> you wanna go with the signaling arm, the pointing arm, the risk communicator arm. There's so many different options here and then they all look so good. Here you can kind of see how the bolt rifle thing goes together. You can either use the drum or you can use the stalker um, with the super scope right there and they both slot in. I think the stalker is four points, I wanna say. The auto bolt is one, but we'll check that here in a second. I'll make sure we grab the Space Marine uh, Codex. And here's all of your different accessories and things, pewter, purity seals, the uh, bolt pistol holsters, all sorts of different sidearm options all the different heads from both helmeted to targeted to bare head to different hairstyles. You've got all sorts of shoulder pads. The return of the studded shoulder pad right there as well as a tabarded option right up there. So lots of different cool looking things here to kind of tinker and make your intercessors your, your very own. It's super customizable because I think there was 266 different components on this kit. Uh, that make this thing up so very very cool let's oh and of course you get the bases that are normal uh 32 mil you get the uh the decal sheet here that we've seen in the past this is the same exact one uh that has come in a lot of different of the kits out there now let's take a look at the sprues so here's the first sprue you're going to get remember you get two of each of these now every option that's in the book is in here except for the power weapon Strangely enough, I guess they couldn't fit it on here, but they are coming out with the upgrade sprue next week. I think it's $15 US to pick up that bad boy. So you can see all the pads. There's 10 helmets here plus an extra two right here. So, and there's a two on the other sprue, so that would be four, uh, 12. So I'm not counting 36, I'm, I think I'm getting 24, one, 12, 12, I'm getting 28. So I don't know, maybe there's some more uh, heads hidden in here that I hadn't seen yet. But as of right now, I am definitely not seeing those. But you can see all of the different uh, front greaves and everything like that. You've got your pointy pads right there. There's, uh, there's your legs, your greaves as well. Very well sculpted. I mean, all this stuff is super multi-part. The new backpacks with the super dope looking power plant and everything. I mean, very, very cool looking stuff. Like this is, this is exactly what I expect. Tons of options. There you can see the bolt rifles ready to receive the insert, which is on the other sprue. And that is going to determine 
you can see all up here, that is going to determine what the actual gun becomes. So you can use the drum right here, or you can use the sighted one right there for the stalker. And then, you know, it's pretty much easy game, easy life from there. You've got all the other different options. Here's the grenade launcher one, which means that there's going to be two in here. But I think rules is written. You can only use uh, one grenade per squad. So that kind of makes sense here because all the models in here, you can either make two five mans, right? Which technically you could have a grenade launcher in there or you could have one ten man. So you technically need two grenade launchers, auxiliary grenade launchers, because you could make two five mans. At least that's what I'm thinking out loud right there. But somebody fact checked me on that one. So that's it. I mean, it's it's a pretty good looking sprue. Again, you've got the multi-part legs right there with the greaves on top. You've got all the tabards, all the different parchments. You've got the stocking uh, combat knife. And I mean, just some really good looking stuff here. I mean, yeah, we've kind of seen this. This is probably like the third or fourth unboxing on Intercessors, but I mean, these are obviously the most customizable and uh, the coolest looking ones to date. As far as points go, now you could always keep this little instruction manual and just kind of cut it out and use this to put it on the tabletop instead of having to have uh, cards or anything like that because the Space Marine data cards are uh, just the stratagems and things like that. They do not come with the data sheet, so. Unfortunately, that is the case there. So here you can see nothing new here. Auto bolt rifle, you have the option for every five man to take the grenade launcher, like I said. I may also have a power sword, which is not included, like I said, in this kit. You're gonna have to buy the upgrade sprue if you want one of those, the appropriate size um, Primaris one, or I suppose you could get the Lieutenant out of the Dark Imperium and it would pretty much be the same thing. I don't think he's in the uh, Gravis armor. So I think that one might work too, actually. We can, can replace bolt rifle with an auto bolt rifle or stock bolt, bolt rifle. You saw all the options right there. We'll go over the points for those here in a second. And they do have the combat squad special rule. And then remember too, depending on what they are, uh, Space Marine wise, they got objective secured. And there's some other special rules too that aren't gonna be on this. So you're gonna have to consult your Space Marine codex. Let's see, for the intercessors themselves, their rules are on page 148 of the new Space Marine Codex, which pretty much mirror this exact same data sheet right here, except for the options, of course. Uh, let's check the points on them for intercessors. For the stalker pattern bolt rifle, you're looking at two points. For the auto bolt rifle, you're looking at one point right there. The auxiliary grenade launcher. Auto bolt storm. Grenade, long grenade harness. Hmm. What is that exactly? For every five models, may take an auxiliary grenade launcher. Hmm. I don't see that. Or unless it's a Stardis or Primaris. Is it a Stardis? A Stardis grenade launcher. 11 points. Okay. Well, that makes more sense. So, 11 points for the auxiliary grenade launcher there. And the troops are going to be 20 points. Points per model is 20 points each. So, a five man squad is going to cost you 100 points. A 10 man squad is going to cost you 200 points plus the bolt gun weaponry that you decide to uh, equip them with. And of course, that is uh, the new 8th edition Space Marine Codex rules right there. So, overall, really interesting stuff. Uh, can't wait to get some of these guys together. You can see they've got all the interesting poses here, of course. You've got the wrist communicator, you've got the bolt pistol, you've got the drum fed mags. I mean, there's just so much room to pose these guys and really make them kind of your own that it's it's kind of like man I'm, I'm almost forgetting about the little marines at this point you know these guys are looking so fresh but they are going to take a considerable amount of time well not considerable but considerably more than the traditional space marine because you are two-part legs and then of course the greaves that go on the front so there's a lot of trimming down flash etc etc but they're probably going to be a little bit easier to work with because they are bigger models in and of themselves right so kind of keep that in mind there now uh, we also have the Hell Blasters to unbox here in a minute for you as well. And they have lots of uh, different options that go with them. So remember, you get two of these sprues. Uh, let's see, let's get to do a rundown from GW. Let's see. So you got the one and three variants of the rifle. We covered that. Long range, straight, uh, straight sight and straight magazine. Yep, we covered that. 16 right-handed shoulder pads decorated with the iconography of the intercessors. 
enough to cover each variant of the variant arms, which there is a lot of variant arms, two with the open radio panel, two gesturing from the, for the squad to halt, two holding combat knives, and two firing bolt pistols, which we saw. There's also two pointy finger arms as well. A uh, total of 36 different heads available. I don't think that's right. <laughs> I didn't count that many. And of course they can be equipped uh, and fielded as two five-man squads or one ten-man squad right there. So that's it from GW and myself. That is, I think, about everything to say about this. Of course you can tell that the shoulder pads are the normal size shoulder pads. So if you want to get any of those dope upgrade bits that are available on the secondary market, of course, uh, pop goes the weasel. Uh, <laughs> or Pop Goes the Monkey, rather. <laughs> uh, definitely comes to mind right there. They've got all sorts of great upgrade bits. The, hit, the heads are the same as well, so you can plug and play those to customize all of your new Primaris miniatures out there. So that's it for this one, folks. Thanks for hanging in there and checking out the new Intercessor Marines and their rules and their point costs. Now, if you like our features here on this channel, make sure you subscribe to us and turn on notifications so you can be the very first to like and thumbs up our videos and head on over to longwar.net. That's the home of the battle reports for exclusive content, early access videos, and more. Become a veteran of the long war today.